The assassination attempt on Russian President Vladimir Putin, reported by the chief of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, Kirill Budinov, was prepared with U.S. money. This was stated by the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova. In her Telegram channel, she wrote that one of the leaders of the Kiev regime, Budinov, openly admitted that Ukrainian intelligence was preparing an assassination attempt on the Russian leader. The assassination attempt on Putin was prepared with American money, without which there would have been no activity of the main intelligence directorate and Bankova in general, the diplomat pointed out. Instead of financing terrorists from Kiev Washington should have invested those funds in its domestic security, Zakharova said due to the assassination attempt on former U.S. President Donald Trump. There was a shooting at a rally of Trump in Pennsylvania late on Saturday. The Republican was wounded. According to recent reports, he is safe, the injury was minor, the bullet pierced his right ear. The shooter was killed by members of the U.S. Secret Service, which is responsible, in particular, for protecting the top officials of the state. Recently, the head of the main intelligence directorate, Budinov, stated that Kiev had made assassination attempts on the Russian president, but all of them were unsuccessful. His words were commented on by the press secretary of the Russian president Dmitry Peskov. He stated that the threats coming from the Kiev regime are obvious, therefore Putin's security is provided at the proper level. Peskov said that all threats coming from the Kiev regime are obvious. Therefore, the security of the first person is ensured at the proper level, he emphasized. Russia, fearful of F-16 arrival, seeks to destroy Ukrainian airfields. Russia is attacking Ukrainian airfields before the first F-16 fighters arrive in the country and air warfare experts tell Business Insider it's because it's concerned about what Ukraine could achieve with the jets. Michael Clark, a Russia and Ukraine expert and UK national security advisor, told BI that Russia is very concerned about the F-16 because of its capabilities, there is no doubt about that. He also warned that Russian forces will attack every F-16 base they can find. Rajan Menon, a senior fellow at Columbia University's Saltzman Institute for War and Peace Studies, said Russia is focused on advanced weapons coming from the West. I think they are convinced that the more Western weapons of all kinds Ukraine has, the more formidable its army will become, he said. Meanwhile, Tim Robinson, a military aviation expert at Britain's Royal Aeronautical Society, said the Russian military probably believed the F-16 would tip the balance a little bit. He said that once they arrive, Russian aircraft will likely have to be more careful about Ukrainian territory, meaning efforts to limit the plane's impact are now an enticing prospect for Russia. The potential impact of Russia's efforts, however, and whether it will succeed in damaging or destroying more air bases is unclear. At the same time, Tim Robinson states that destroying air bases is not an easy task. It's very, very difficult to completely close an air base, he said, especially given that it can be repaired. To take it out, he said, you'd have to hit it over and over again, and that would be especially difficult if Ukraine were to use more air defenses to protect the bases where it has its F-16s. However, the destruction of Ukrainian F-16s soon after their arrival would be a huge practical and symbolic blow to Ukraine. Clark said the past strikes on air bases showed Ukraine's incompetence, but added that the silver lining was that it was a good lesson, a lesson that was learned before the F-16s arrived. This summer Ukraine will finally receive F-16 fighters, but in much smaller quantities than expected, Bloomberg reports citing its sources. According to one source, Ukraine will be able to field a squadron of F-16s between 15 and 24 aircraft, which is significantly less than the 300 that its leaders have called for. Another said that Kyiv expects to receive six F-16s this summer and up to 20 by the end of the year, the newspaper writes. Bloomberg notes that sources say the process of sending F-16s to Ukraine has been complicated by problems with spare parts and a language barrier between Ukrainian pilots and their foreign instructors.